So it was a hundred percent successful migration of two networks hub and spoke within three and a half hours. I migrated two networks from one organization to another as part of a divestiture. In prep, I did probably two hours worth of screenshots and documentation because once I pulled the device, that config was gonna be gone in the source organization and I was gonna lose it. So I did about an hour and a half to two hours of that type of, of prep. Once I did the clone, I I was very systematic, like start one thing, finish it, start the next thing, finish it, very waterfall. And then I started working through um, the migration of the devices. I first started with migrating the wireless. This is one other key thing that I think made a small difference. Make sure that you have all of your Meraki devices configured to DHCP. With Boundless, migrating with them in DHCP, the migration was fast. I'm talking like less than 15 minutes for sure. They migrated in about 10, but it was probably another few minutes before they were 100% online. So I did the APs, then I did the switches and I started with the furthest away from the MX. Then I did the core switch last. And then one of the things that I was wondering if it would carry over was if we had added a name to a port and it carried that over. So it was extremely, extremely helpful. VLAN configurations, everything came over perfectly. Trunk state access, uh, native VLANs, all of that came over perfectly. And then I moved the MX. These are all MX68 CWs, so they and they all do have functioning cellular cellular plans. Um, I did notice that they came up on cellular first um, very quickly, and everything else reestablished, and then they were good. And the timing was about the same. It was about 10 minutes to migrate the device, and probably another three to five minutes for it to come up. So when I went to do the second site, it's a very small network. It's two APs, one switch, and an MX68CW. I only spent 15 minutes, I think, screenshotting some things that I thought would suck to have to rebuild from memory um, because I just had that much confidence after the first migration. I wanted to try and do this migration as fast as possible. So that was the other thing. I migrated everything all at the same time. And I just said, take it all go from the time I clicked move to it being done moving and coming up in the dashboard 22 minutes everything was full stop green all good in the new org new network the negotiation that I had with the client was that I was doing a new process um, that was new to me and they were fine with that would not have someone on site because I had more confidence in this process and tool than I had in a manual migration and that we would rely on the business users for support Monday morning uh, if there was still a problem or that someone would start driving over the weekend. Uh, we would just play it by the exception. On Monday morning, the business users came in to both of those locations and they had zero problems. Not one was reported.